welcome everyone to PSC's virtual open day. We're very excited to have you. This session is courses at PSC, how to pick the right course for you. And hosting the session, we'll have Daniel Boker-Smith, our Dean of Photography Studies. So Daniel, I'll let you take it away. Thanks Whitney. Um, what we're going to do in this first session here is just talk a little bit about the uh, Bachelor Program and the CERT 4 Program. Um, and also just really hear from uh, Serena, who's our first year coordinator, um, and also from uh, Jessica Hall, who is one of our first year students. So we are a small college. Um, we have one bachelor program, which is photography. We have one certificate program, which is photography. We have program and a college that is focused on one area of creative arts. Um, and because of that, we actually are able to give you an experience that is so much more in depth um, so much more rounded and actually prepare you for careers in photography. Photography Studies College um, is the only college in Australia that focuses just on photography. We've been going since the 1970s. The photography industry in Melbourne really um, is full of people from the Photography Studies College. So really our, our kind of task um, when you study here is to uh, introduce you to the world of photography, but also really we're focused on getting you out there and working. And that's not only when you leave the college, but also during the course too. So we have a number of kind of points through the courses where you're actually uh, meeting industry experts, where you're actually going and doing um, real world kind of projects, uh, where you're actually having kind of experiences of being out there and shooting um, real life jobs for real life clients. Um, so that when you get out after the course, you're actually ready to go in the industry. And we have a lot of students um, during the course who um, are working as professional photographers, not only when they finish, but also during their second and, and third years, and sometimes first year. And we've got this brand new campus that we uh, moved into in January, um, and we're still um, kind of, um, yeah, we're still really excited about this new kind of premises and this new kind of opportunities that this space will provide once we can get students back on campus. So we're providing, providing uh, classes online for the last few months, and so we've been really working hard to um, make that experience really kind of um, uh, fruitful and really kind of um, engaging. Um, so we've been running live Zoom classes, and as I said, also um, hybrid classes in small groups where students can come on campus and do workshops, etc. cetera. Um, we've also been doing a number of things where we've been um, lending computers to students um, for the period where we've been in lockdown. Um, and we've also been doing a kind of drop off and pick up um, process of equipment where students can actually uh, do drive-by pickups of studio lighting gear and those sorts of things for certain classes when they need to. Not only do we have the, uh, uh, the new campus, but within that we have a huge studio, which you'll see a little bit later on. We've also got an in-house print shop, um, which is a commercial print lab as well as a print lab for students. Um, so we have uh, photographers from all over the country getting their work printed and scanned and produced there. Um, and students have that kind of access to that real kind of life experience of, of engaging with a real life print shop too. Um, and as I said before, we have um, a really kind of intense roster of photographers and curators and writers of photography and professional photographers from every kind of um, walk of, of photography life um, coming in regularly to talk about their work and to talk about their careers. Um, and not only that, all of the teachers here at the college are also practicing photographers, are engaged in the industry, are out there um, doing stuff, having exhibitions, having books published, working for clients, all those sorts of things. So um, it's really a kind of, a, it's really, like I said before, a community of photographers that you're kind of um, joining. What I'm going to do quickly is to uh, hand over to Serena to talk a little bit about the first year experience and what happens when you kind of join the college in the first year and what you kind of go through in that first year. And then um, to hear from Jess, cause she's actually going through it right now. <laughs> Thanks Daniel. Um, welcome everyone. I think, you know, the first year for the way that we, we see first year is that it is a pretty much a transition from either, um, you know, coming from a different profession or, you know, coming from secondary school into the tertiary realm. And it is a transition time. And so, the teaching team, we have a fabulous teaching team, um, uh, first year teaching team who are incredibly ex experienced, experienced educators, as well as, um, you know, practitioners in the industry. So the first year teaching team is, is very, um, it come, you know, we come together and work together really closely to ensure that the student experience is enjoyable and rewarding 
and um, and support and that students feel supported. And that's really a, a really big focus in first year because we realise that it is a very transition transitional year. And you know, during first year, what we aim to do is lay the foundations for what professional photography practice is. And you know, through a balance of technical, conceptual, and theoretical classes, we kind of you know, give the students a good grounding or foundation to move into the next stage, um, you know, the second and third years. Um, thanks, Serena. Um, I guess um, just quickly then, what we'll be talking, what we're talking about really today is um, the two programs that might be relevant for you guys who are kind of joining us today, who mostly will be uh, year 12 um, students. Um, and so we have two programs really. And um, the reason we've asked Jessica Hall to join us is that she's actually, um, done one of these and now he's doing the bachelor program. So uh, we have a CERT 4 program, which is a six month uh, program, um, which is uh, attracts skills first funding. So it means it's um, for certain people, it's supported, uh, the, the fees are supported by the government. Um, and it's really focused on the kind of technical aspects of photography. So it's camera craft, digital technique, and there is a kind of social media kind of focus to that too. So it's about sort of thinking about how you brand yourself as a photographer via social media. And then we have the Bachelor of Photography program, um, which we'll talk about a bit more, which is really the, the kind of flagship program that we have at the college, which is a three year degree, which is really focused on getting you a career in photography. So it's about the, the kind of critical aspects of photography, thinking and, and discussing photography and where photography fits in terms of media, in terms of um, society and culture and politics. But also it's about um, getting excellent kind of technical skills in terms of uh, camera craft, studio lighting, uh, printing, video, uh, bookmaking and magazine kind of design, um, but also kind of looking at cutting edge technology as well. So we're looking at VR and um, 3D kind of um, technologies um, and also kind of thinking about the way that all those different technologies kind of influence photography and, and how photography looks in the next three years, five years, 10 years, etc. cetera. Um, we also have a quite a big focus on uh, kind of business and and mentoring and careers um, and we have a number of different programs running through the course um, that really support that um, and that's borne out like I said before in the amount of students that go on to work in photography whether that's in in art um, in photojournalism or in kind of commercial fashion wedding food all those sorts of cars all those different areas of um, photography that you might kind of work in and Lots of photographers end up working in a number of different areas as well. Um, and just hand over to Jess, just for five minutes, just to tell us a bit of um, her kind of experience really of, of signing up for the certificate program, which is a six month program and really an introduction to kind of photography um, and then moving on into the kind of bachelor program. So just tell us a bit about that experience for you, Jess. Yeah, cool. Hello. Um, so I did the certificate at the end of last year. Um, it was a really great, great way to learn the fundamentals of camera craft and that introductory, what you can get out of photography and what you can get out of PSC. Um, and I loved it so much that I wanted to continue on and do the bachelor because I really want to be able to make something of my photography and my practice. Um, I think it's, the community is absolutely amazing. And so far I've learned so many things from so many different people. Um, especially my tutors as they are in the industry themselves and they have a lot of knowledge um, to pass on to us and then also along with other students that you study with. Um, so it's probably the best, best thing that I've had out of it so far and continue getting out of it while I'm still doing the Bachelor. Um, I did the certificate last year so obviously we weren't in lockdown or anything like that. Um, but the transition into doing classes on Zoom was weird at first, but it's the college has definitely adapted to providing still the same things that we would get out of our class. And even though we are all in our homes and studying from home, there is still that great sense of connection. So you don't ever feel like you can't talk to anybody. Um, you still work in groups together and are able to develop ideas. Um, together as also as an individual as well. So it's, it's actually really good learning online as well, um, but I can't wait to get back to the college. <laughs> yeah, I think that's true for everybody. Um, and I know Serena, in your classes that you've had sort of, um, we've been talking about this obviously over the last few months, but you've also had sessions in your classes where you're kind of giving the students a chance just to kind of discuss 
stuff amongst themselves as well as with teachers and having that kind of community and, and maybe that that's where we can lead on to the kind of PSC pals and that kind of support network a bit. Um, it's really important for the students to to try and make connections with each other um, especially in this climate and, and especially being isolated and I know that a number of teachers actually do have breakout groups where they enable the students to talk amongst each other and and even, um, you know, we have our um, social media groups where the students can actually chat amongst each other as well and, and provide support. Um, and, uh, but also um, the PALS group is a, a group of students who volunteer to get together um, and they, they range from first through to third year students. They've had, they've organised exhibitions and organised events in the past to bring together the community a little bit. And at the moment, I think they've just the deadline for um, a, a submission for an exhibition has just ended, I think on Friday, and they had a number of submissions for that. Um, and also I think they're thinking of having some sort of online games night, which that's all I know, right, <laughs> so far, but it sounds like a bit of fun. They're thinking of ways, especially in this, you know, in this situation um, of bringing the students together out of, you know, together in their homes to, to come, you know, on, uh, to be online um, in any other capacity, um, uh, you know, besides classes, so. Thanks. Yeah, and I look, it's something that, um, of course, that we're um, talking about on a daily basis, not only with amongst the staff, but also with the students too. And we have, as well as the PSC PALS, we also have a, a group of students that um, meet a couple of times per semester that are across the course as well, where we have a really kind of in-depth discussion about feedback around the kind of online and face-to-face -face classes and how we're kind of implementing technology. And so you've been re working really hard to um, implement in the classrooms um, where we've had uh, hybrid sessions where people have come in. Um, you know, we've got these se sessions where we've got multiple cameras and multiple screens in the room so that the people at home are not just kind of seeing one view, but they're actually kind of feeling a bit more interactive. Um, and all the staff have had to get used to being kind of mic'd up with little lapel mics like professional kind of broadcasters, which has been, uh, interesting for everyone, I think, as well. Um, one thing that um, happens, and I think it's good to note, is that one thing that happens every year is that the Australian government, um, and this is something that maybe your careers teachers have, have um, highlighted um, for you guys or your, or your, or your teachers, um, it's something called Compare Ed um, on the side here. Uh, and basically, it's a, a student survey that the, the Australian government does every year of all students who are currently in higher education. So it's first year, second year, third year. And it's quite an in-depth, uh, I'm not sure if Jessica, you've done this yet. I probably, I think it's probably, I think this year's one's just starting now for next year to get the results next year. But it's quite an in-depth kind of survey of university students from across all the institutions, um, both the smaller kind of colleges like us and also the larger institutions and universities. And the number of different questions in there that they ask um, but generally it's about what was your experience like and how did you experience your course and what were the positives and what were the negatives um, and for the past kind of four or five years that's been that's been happening um, and as you can see here these are uh, I've just taken a couple of them so I'm not going to go through it in too much detail but I've just taken a couple and then just chosen some random other colleges that are kind of offering creative arts courses as well and you'll see that for and this was the um, question about skills development and you'll see that PSC does and has come top of this ranking for the last four or five years across all the different institutions. Um, uh, not just these ones I've chosen here, but actually um, uh, a number of other institutions too. Um, and the next one is the main one, which is the kind of key question really is, have you had an overall positive experience in terms of your kind of uh, experience at PSC? Um, and again, you can see that we come uh, top in that ranking and we have for the last few years also come um, top in Victoria for that uh, ranking. Um, and that really just kind of bears out, you know, I know it's us kind of telling you how great we are and saying how, what a great experience it is. Um, but I think it's also, and that's why we've kind of got as many students as we can today kind of talk to you about the experience. But I think it's also really useful to look at, at this. And this really, there's about eight questions that you can look at in this survey. Um, and it really gives you a great kind of rundown of where current students feel like they're kind of, what they feel like they're kind of getting, if you like. Um, okay, so in terms of careers, what we um, do focus on really is this idea of um, outcomes for you guys in terms of studying with us. So we have second year and third year classes that are focused on 
um, engaging with the industry. We have mentorship classes um, in the third year of the program where we pair you up with a, well, uh, maybe one, but maybe more than one. A number of students have a few mentors where we pair you up with a mentor in the industry and you spend six months working with that mentor and getting feedback from that mentor and getting kind of advice about building your career. Um, and we also have a jobs register here in the college. And that's kind of a unique thing I've never really heard anywhere else. Um, because we're a photography college and because we have photography in our name, we have lots of people who call up all the time saying they're looking for a photographer for a particular job. Um, and so we keep a record of all those things and we have a minimum kind of pay scale that we kind of institute for that. So we're not just giving photographers away for free. Um, and then what happens is current students can actually sign up for that jobs register and they get notifications when jobs come through and then they can actually make contact with that client and start actually getting real work. And what happens is through that job register, um, sometimes students become really busy because they're actually, once you work with the client and they like who you are, they actually then just go directly to you and start working with you more and more. And so we have lots of um, students who are working, um, doing kind of content creation work for uh, fashion labels or for different brands, um, also shooting events, shooting weddings, shooting bands, uh, shooting festivals, those sorts of things. Um, and also doing stuff like um, retouching work and assisting work as well. So lots of different areas of photography that students are already working in while they're kind of here. Um, so um, some of the research we've done really, and you can see the numbers there, but you know, the potential for growth in terms of photography is really kind of huge and it is a big industry already. And of course, over the last few months, um, it's been really challenging for photography and as it has for every kind of industry. Um, but of course, you know, what we're really interested in is, is the future for you guys in terms of um, what happens when you come out of the course and, um, and where those jobs are for you. Um, and I said, as I said at the start, the history of the college means that um, most of the people that are kind of in the photography industry have been through the college or have at some point or another had some connection with the college. Um, and so that kind of infiltration of the industry um, it means that we can reach out to people and get students placements and get students um, make connections with students. And this is just, you know, what we could fit on one page, but photography really is engaged in and connected to all different types of kind of culture and industry and society. And if you think about any industry that exists, there's some level of the need for a photographer or the need for images or the need for marketing or branding or the need for recording of things, you know? Um, and so in terms of these types of careers, these are the things that we kind of focus on in the course, but there's also a million other things that kind of that you can do with photography. And really, you know, we're talking about this notion of being a creative. Um, and um, if you kind of um, think about photography in terms of being a creative, it allows you to think about all these different types of careers that can come out of that as well. Um, you know, because really, if you look at all those different careers, what really we're asking you to become is storytellers. You know, whether you're doing real estate photography or weddings, or you're a travel photographer, you're telling stories to your audience. You know, you're telling a story of a home that they might want to live in or a place that they might want to visit or an event that happened that you're kind of recording. So it's that kind of notion of becoming a visual storyteller, which we're really focused on. Um, and it works on lots of different levels as well. We have a number of international students, but also we have a number of different partnerships with um, different organizations overseas and different universities overseas. So uh, each, not this, well, actually earlier this year in January, we did. Uh, so we have a partnership with the Japanese uh, university photography school um, and a fashion college. Um, and we have students coming over and doing kind of ex student exchanges. And we have a number of Japanese students who come and study with us um, through that partnership. Um, we also have a number of um, festivals and organizations that we partner with um, in the Asia Pacific region. And in previous years, we take students to uh, festival events um, in Malaysia, in Singapore, in Japan, um, doing study tours overseas as well. So they're things that we're really excited about, kind of um, looking forward to and planning for the future. Um, but what we've been able to do um, in the meantime is actually maintain those connections kind of online. So we've been having kind of weekly um, chats with photographers from all over the world and kind of making that available to students and to the wider kind of public um, and keeping those connections kind of going in this kind of difficult time. Really. The one thing that's really important to kind of talk about at the moment is that obviously with um, the things that are happening, we've been able to kind of be flexible and kind of adjust um, what we're asking for and the kind of process that we run normally. Um, and obviously this year we're really looking to, um, I guess, be kind of responsive and open to current year 12 students, acknowledging their experiences, acknowledging what's happening um, and really, um, yeah, looking kind of, looking forward to kind of talking to you one-to-one -one about your work and your experiences 
um, and also making it something that um, yeah, make it something that's as easy as possible as well in terms of applications. And generally, um, Serena or myself will be doing the interviews usually. Um, and you know, really, it is just a chance for us to chat to you about photography. You know, it's not it's not a really formal kind of um, you know uh, quiz panel <laughs> where you're kind of grilled. It really is just to talk to you about you know your your experience of photography and where you want to go with it and and to see you know to see that you kind of get a sense of what we what we are, are like here um and i've had plenty of interviews where people haven't shown me their work from their year 12 projects but they've shown, shown me their work just from outside of school you know their photographs from outside of school um and their own things they've been doing and working on and they've been showing me they might show me paintings and drawings and videos they've made or all those sorts of things and it's really just about it's really just a chat about being creative, you know? So, um, you know, as Whitney said earlier, what we're interested in and what we really want to get a sense of is just your passion for photography. That's it. And we realize that, you know, that, um, that comes in many different forms and that's been, able, that's shown in many different forms. So it's really just a chat with us to see, um, to see where you're at and to tell you a bit more about the course and, um, to hear a bit more about you as a person, really. Um, Thanks to Jess and Serena for joining us. Thanks. That's Thanks. all right.